how y'all doing? What's going on? This video gonna be about Lamar Jackson. And um he says that uh it's dying off, but there's still bias against black quarterbacks. And he says he's gotta win the chip to shut it down. And it's kind of ironic. I'm gonna do like a what I call a mini movie in a movie. I was defending Lamar Jackson on Facebook, and then they sentenced me to FB jail for six days. I was in a Buffalo Bills form. So I'm a Buffalo Bills fan, but I can't stand their fans, some of their fans, some of them, and some of their fans are some white folks that is racist, backwards, and they had the nerve to say he don't belong. This so I said a man won MVP in 2019. Josh Allen has emerged in the league quarterback, but prior to that, he was not seeing Lamar Jackson, and Lamar Jackson is a rare uh, species of a player, and they tried to downplay him, and I had to step in. You know, if you're on uh, Facebook, you can't say the word black or white. You know, they got codes up in there. Funny how they let them spies get through to hack the election for Trump and all that other stuff. And the CEO of whatever they call himself, Facebook, Meta, whatever that garbage is, they got a nerve to, um, you know, pay that Ponzi scheme fine. But nonetheless, they'll let Joe Rogan and the mother white, white folks pop off in there. But anyway. I was defending Lamar, and I didn't. Unbeknownst to me, he appeared on LeBron James's The Shop. I don't watch that show because it's too much uh, kissing up to LeBron James, and I don't watch because there ain't no barbershop that I know. But anyway, the issue came about the black quarterback and the bias, and LeBron tried to throw in that he ain't respected as a score. I said, "Well, that's a different argument. You can't compare how they respect your career as a score or not. But being a black quarterback, that's a fact that I was trying to explain to a lot of them." Uh, what I consider, you know, they they may you may root for the same team, but it's black and white, and they will never understand your experience or what you see, especially if you can go back and talk that talk, which I can about football and quarterbacks, because when back in the day, I go back in the eighties, Warren Moon, <clears throat> I happened to be living in Houston, Texas when he came there. He had to wait five six years to go from Canada to play in the NFL. They were not bringing like court black quarterbacks in there, aside from Vince Evans. And that was a novelty. And you didn't fast forward till you got to Randall Cunningham. So you can say, for the better of my life, I went without seeing the black quarterbacks dominate the NFL. This has been more of a recent phenomenon. If you must know, with the Michael Vick, and all due respect to Steve Aaron McNair, but the black quarterback has more been like more past Cunningham and you get fast forward. It's been more like a recent phenomenon the last 20 plus years. If you will, just a black quarterback going to the Super Bowl, you know, there's uh the bias is real. So when I see a Russell Wilson who can go to Denver, he got that chip. They let it be known. They talk about it. Well, yeah, let it be known. He got many Super Bowl wins as Aaron Rodgers, but he ain't heralded as Aaron Rodgers, but just throwing it out there. <clears throat> you know. Um, Patrick Mahomes, you know. This is the old recent phenomenon. But you saw what they did to Colin Kaepernick and White bought him out the league, so you can't mess up or Cam Newton who got, they had to pretty much like how to string, but they tried to pull up with Lamar Jackson. I saw Brian Poland try to tell, they tried to tell him to be a wide receiver. This wasn't a call, a workout. This is what, this is like little as four or five years ago. And I knew he was going to be something. I saw him in college play. So 2019, he got that MVP. He shut a lot of them up. And I remember his games. He won some big games. The only knock against Lamar is the postseason. He could ever step it up in the postseason. It'd be all she wrote. You know, because regular season, if some of his plays look like they sound like, but they work. He can he can juke out the pocket, and he throws quick on the fly. He just got to have a target to work with. But I do always champion Lamar. But I know <clears throat> that there is racial bias against the black quarterback. I know there is. This ain't some, you know, you know, Goodwill Jerry Jones did not want to have to give that money to Dak Prescott, and he loved Tony Romo, loved him. You know, Jordan Love gets drafted by the Packers. To be Aaron Rodgers here, apparent that's going to be a wait. They just now black drafted more black quarterbacks. It wasn't always the case. Because as a Buffalo Bills fan, I go back to Joe Harris. It was Harris, James Harris. Came on when OJ did. The Bills didn't put him in there. But if you're going by talent level, he was every bit as cut from Jim Kelly to Josh Allen. And he was better talent than Joe Ferguson. But they don't want that. They didn't want that in Buffalo, James Harris. So I'm just telling you. And don't remember Broadway Joe Gilliam better than Terry Bradshaw. And Terry Bradshaw would tell you to this day to his face with his wig dangling on and off that Joe Gilliam was a better quarterback. But that, you know, but you got to remember the times and everything. And it ain't, 
you know, I see black quarterbacks out here now, but it, ain't, it wasn't always the case, but you got to win. If they're not hardly, if they just now making this a recent phenomenon the last two and a half decades, and you think black head coaches, see, don't, I always say NFL stands for Negroes forget leadership, and it means at the main positions. Mm-hmm. You see, that's what it means. And it's kind of sad that Donald McNabb never got stacked. He got T.O. one year, but he never got stacked like Matthew Stafford did. Maybe things might have been different. This is all recents with a lot of this stuff, so don't get it twisted. But there is culturally bias against black quarterbacks. Obviously there is, because the NFL is racist all get out. So why would you think? They ain't, they ain't like they've been inundated with black quarterbacks through organizations. Doug Williams hardly ever gets mentioned for what he did against Denver in the Super Bowl, but he tore John Elway behind a new one. They don't talk about it. Doug is almost like a forgotten character. You got to have memory and thoughts on it. And I can name teams. <clears throat> And I'm talking about what black, black quarterbacks never got that fair shot. So some things you see, you kind of got your eyes on to. And other things you see, it's still the good old system. But anyway, I understand where Lamar Jackson's coming from because, yeah, you got to win the chip to shut him up because there is still a lot of bias inherently, and it shows. Please hit the like, the subscribe, work on thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And don't get comfortable because you got to win. You got to keep producing. And they watching, and they taking shots at a man who just won a just won a uh, MVP. He's got uh, he and you know uh, he got to do is have postseason success. But I'm telling you, they hold black folks to whole different standards than their white counterparts. I'm out.